This is called a convex mirror. These mirrors that bend outward, like the one in the diagram. The lens in the mirror will reflect from the mirror and then diverge from the mirror. Remember that diverging means that the two rays of light are moving apart from one another. So what this means is that the image of the reflected object is closer to the mirror than the original object itself. In this example, when light comes in parallel to an object like this, it means that the source of the light is very, very far away, perhaps all the way on the other side of the page. And when this light comes down from here, it reaches the mirror fairly parallel. Except if we're looking at this light, then our brains uh, extrapolate from the straight lines it sees and says that the source of the light must be behind the mirror at this point, which as you can see is much closer to the mirror than our original object. So this has interesting implications for depth perception when we look into convex mirrors. It means that it can be hard to tell just how far away an object is. Images reflected in a convex mirror look smaller than the object. We can see that uh, in this photograph over here. The effect becomes more pronounced the further away we move. Uh, it can be very hard to judge distance because the objects inside are smaller. That means that our brain thinks that they're further away, even though they look like they're closer to the mirror. And it's this difference in size that tends to win out on depth perception. So if we see objects in a convex mirror, then they'll appear to be very far away, even if they're quite close. A spoon's outer face is an example of a convex mirror. We can see that over here. One aspect of convex mirrors is that objects reflected near the edge of a convex mirror tend to be very far away from your normal field of view. So if we have a very, very convex mirror in the shape of, for example, a sphere, then light that comes in from the side can still be reflected up to your eyes. So it means by looking into a convex mirror, it's possible to see, for example, two opposite sides of a room at once. Draw the waves reflected from this convex mirror. So in this case, once again, we can draw a normal to the surface, which is going to be perpendicular to the surface at the point where the light rays hit it. And the angle of incidence over here will be equal to the angle of reflection from the reflected wave. So once we draw our reflected wave, it'll look something like this. We can see that the waves are diverging from each other. That is, the two waves are getting further away 